a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. And it's Ball in at the point. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. First free throw is good. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. Both good from the line that time. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Out to the right wing. Siakam against Vucevic. It's stolen by Vucevic. Williams passes to Levine. And the jam by Levine. Well, we know that Zach Levine has tremendous hops. Nice finish. Vucevic against Siakam. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Vucevic. And looking back on that Toronto run, Pascal Siakam Doris was a big piece to that puzzle. There's no question about it. They allowed that young man to flourish in transition. He was a tremendous defender for the group. He was a big time part of that title. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half-court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. He hits the second from the line. And for Siakam... Great. He almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from that position. Solid player who any team would love to have. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Now here's Van Vliet. Trent up top. Arms screen on Levine. He can't get it to go. And the Bulls going the other way now. Outside, ball. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. The layup missed. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. It's a three-point game. Pass to Siakam. Connects on the open chain. Well, you love the size and the length of Siakam. So he's comfortable in the painted area. Does nice work there. The Raptors are only a few years removed from its championship in 2019. Boy, a lot has changed since then. Vucevic is screen on and an open. And it's DeRozan missing. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. And they take the lead. That's unselfishness from Trent Jr. We know he wants to score, but when your teammate's that wide open, just simply put the ball where it needs to be. A lot of change. Toronto is without some of the key pieces from that title team, and it wasn't that long ago. But, Greg, they haven't had to go through a full rebuild. There are some remaining parts. Listen, the talent they have is still undeniable, and... They've got a good mix of young up-and-comers and players in the prime of their career. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move 
to the rack, and, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now, here's DeRozan. They need this one. It's rebounded by Ananobi. 58 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Siaka. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Bulls trail by three. Williams kicks the ball. Outside, Levine. Five to shoot. A nice jump shot from the top of the key. Levine's got six points. Great elevation on the J. Levine becoming more and more consistent with that. Here's Barnes. No good with the layup. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And Gary Trent gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. His first personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. DeRozan scanning the floor. Shot clock at six. Fires from deep. Well, the range in 40, right? Making his presence felt defensively. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Raptors lead by one. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Raptors with the lead. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Bogic is out there with White. Then there's Andre Drummond, and it's Green, and it's DeRozan in at the small forward. Dragic, Porter with the steal. To the inside. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Boy, Otto Porter with the pretty delivery. That's nice. Bulls trail by five. White looking around. Green with a screen for White. Shoots over Van Vliet. And it's White missing. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Van Vliet against White. Van Vliet passes to Flynn. They set the pick. Shot clock at five. From past the arc. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Hey, close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Out to the right wing. Right side, Dragic. Over Flynn. Out to DeRozan. Shoots over Achua. And again, Chicago. No good. Toronto leading by five. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. On the wing, the Raptors rebound. Birch's shot's good. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. 
A new group in now for the Raptors. Siakam is checked in for Ken Birch. Barnes comes in for Achua. OG Ananobi is checked in for Porter. And Trent subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. The Raptors on defense. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Caruso finds Levine. One thirty-five left now here in the second. Down low, Vucevic off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. When you think of backcourt offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. Yeah, even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. They're controlling the pace of this game, pushing the ball up court and getting good looks in early offense. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, Take creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. They throw good, Siakam. Guys, I've got to say, one of the things I love the most about the Toronto Raptors, how special their fan base is. Really, when you think about it, Canada much more associated with the great sport of hockey, but they love professional basketball. He's perfect from the line this time. Oh, you're right. This fan base here in Toronto is terrific and certainly gets excited to cheer on their Raptors. They, they love them. But they do, and their theme is, quote, we the North. You can truly tell how much these fans love the Raptors. Remember the scene in Jurassic Park outside the stadium, that special area when the finals were going on in 2019. It was pure pandemonium. Here's on an open, following the three-point basket by Chicago. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. Good on that shot, and with that, the Toronto lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Levine. Length, athleticism, the ability to work in the painted area, so important to Zach Levine. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game, still very much up in the air. Now, here's Trent. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Barnes finds Trent. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Chicago. Passes it to Levine. There's 14 seconds left in the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Toronto ahead, up by two. And chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So you got to keep shooting them. Hopefully start making some of them. Well, you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Us, we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. 
You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. Ananobi in at the forward with Barnes next to him. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. And at Siakam in at the five. Roman the paint. That's the five out there for the Raptors. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Here's Ball following the basket by Fred Van Vliet. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Vucevic has got his second bucket of the night. Nikola Vucevic skilled at rolling hard to the rim after setting the screen. That is a smart play. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency. Solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double-digit rebounds for the last five years. Now here's Williams, following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Van Vliet against Vucevic. Pass the ball. Vucevic is screen on in and open for the tie. And Vucevic finishes inside. Vucevic has got the game tied up here for Chicago. You know, Greg, adding to that for Vucevic, the last two seasons, he's been excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, and he is just a rock in the middle. And Chicago shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. A busy few years for Nick Nurse in 2019. He helped lead the Raptors to the title, and he was the 2020 Coach of the Year. He says, it means a lot to me that this city and this country loves this team so much that we can go out there and give them something to be proud of. And of course, Kevin, he's been a key part of that success. Back to you. Maybe the single most important part of their success, D.A., thank you so much. Achua, he's checked in for the Raptors. Young comes in for O.G. Ananobi. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Patrick Williams. Kobe White, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Trogic in for Lonzo Ball. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Now here's Van Vliet. Barnes left side. To end the run. And he lays it up and in. Barnes has got six. Boy, Scotty Barnes, the complete package. Nice interior finish there. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled in to what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Now here's DeRozan. Fires the three. Buries it from three-point range. DeRozan's got the lead up to four now for the Bulls. Well, this goes to a philosophy shift from DeMar DeRozan. He has finally said, okay, I need to make the three a more significant piece of what I do. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Left block, and it's Chicago scoring again. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Fifty-one seconds left in the third. Trent against White. Trent passes to Achua. Basket good. Achua's got his first basket of the night. Important point there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Here's DeRozan. He has six. Inside. And Andre Drummond. The bucket on the assist from DeRozan. Drummond's got the lead back up to six now for the Bulls. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Package against Van Vliet. 
There's 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Trent outside. Off target from three-point range. And we've reached the end of the third. Bulls lead by six. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. 27. State Farm, assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. We've got DeRozan, Anzo Ball out there with Dosuma. Then it's Zach Levine, and it's Vucevic in at the five. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Siakam looking around. Vucevic with the block. Well, the reach, the timing, Vucevic using all of that 7 4 wingspan to turn that shot away. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Van Vliet after the Bulls pick up two. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Fred Van Vliet, a player who has always shot well from outside. And Kevin Van Vliet has continued to kind of take on more of an offensive load. Increased his volume while maintaining efficiency. Not every player able to do that. That free throw, no good. Greg, when you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. They swarm opposing stars and tend to make it very difficult in those passing lanes. So a great profile for a modern NBA defense. Chicago making a switch here. Williams has checked in. That one is no good. And when the stakes get high and you need a big shot, we know how dependable Fred Van Vliet is. It feels to me, Greg, like the bigger the moment, the more dangerous Fred Van Vliet is. We've seen him so many times, knock down so many huge shots. Doesn't matter the setting, Eastern Conference Finals or NBA Finals. This guy, the very definition of fearless. He misses the free throw. The son of an NBA vet, Gary Trent Jr.'s game is very different than his dad's. Well, obviously, Gary Sr. had more size and therefore was a post player in a different generation. The younger Mr. Trent, an excellent shooter from deep. Pretty much the opposite style of play. And he's good on the second. Gary Trent Jr. to me, guys, the very definition of a true shooter. He believes it's a natural talent, but he also works to develop himself into a reliable and efficient shooter. Dosunmu, the pass to Levine. That's tipped. And the layup is good. And the Bulls lead by nine. What a fantastic finish by Zach Levine. Contact? Yeah, I can finish through that. Siakam kicks to Boucher. And the pass to Trent. To the paint. Here's Ananobi. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Dosunmu, the pass to Levine. Ball from long range. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got three assists tonight. 
And Siakam has got the ball here for the Raptors. Down by 12. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Vucevic. Yeah, Pascal Siakam looking aggressive and determined, which forces the defender to commit the foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. And the Bulls making a change here. Caruso's checked in. Siakam hits them both. I think the value of Pascal Siakam is the skill set on both ends of the floor. He can play multiple positions either end, and he can lift his team in any number of ways. Now here's Levine. Vucevic a screen on Ananobi. Levine can't hit. Trent against Caruso. Trent kicks to Siakam. Trent a screen on ball. Back to Siakam. And the layup's good off the glass. This guy's got an incredible all-around skill set. Pascal Siakam from the paint. Yes, sir. Ball dishes to Levine. Shoots over Ananobi. No good there with the step-back chain. Raptors trail by eight. Trent finds Siakam. Boucher sets a screen for Siakam. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Boucher's got his first points in this one. Well, the beauty of Pascal Siakam's game is still growing, and the guy is so unselfish. And Toronto making a change. Barnes has checked in, and Chicago also making a switch. Tamar DeRosa is checked in for Alex Caruso. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Dylan Donovan said to his team. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin, we'll see if they can keep focused. Thank you, David. And they go to the intentional foul. Here's Chicago. They've held a 12-point lead early. And Ball gets double teamed. Bean passes the ball. And an intentional foul right there. Fred Van Vliet. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Rondo Ball taking two shots. Shoot two. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Yeah, I tell you what, it's scary when you think about how much room Ball has to grow when you factor in how efficient he is already. So it gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by eight. 34 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? I mean, it's iffy that there's enough time to even get a quick shot and a foul. seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one and it's Barnes snapping it down. Well you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. 
Fred Van Vliet. That's his second personal battle. 13 foul. At the line for the ball. Rondo Ball. At the line for two. Shoot two. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight point game. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end. And you love his confidence. That is third personal battle. Fourth team foul. At the line for the balls. Longo ball. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Toronto calls timeout. They trail by six. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. And so Ananobi will bring it up for Toronto. On the wing, Ananobi. A three-pointer off the mark. And so they foul intentionally. Oh, you have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. 15 foul. At the line for the Bulls. DeMar DeRozan taking two shots. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Well, I think you know what you're going to get from DeMar DeRozan at the free throw line. Year in and year out, this guy is going to be about 80, 85 percent. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. Flynn kicks to Porter. Back to Flynn. And the three off target. So it's Chicago winning this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. And really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. DeMar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? Um, we're just making everybody comfortable. We're making each and everybody on the team comfortable. If it's jump shots, if it's attacking the basket, you know, even if it's on the defensive end, you know, we're just giving each other confidence every time we practice. And it sure looks like it out there tonight, tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Games, Zach Levine.